Hi guys and welcome to the shop. Any of you that are into the Netflix series Stranger Things will recognise this. It's the Christmas light alphabet. The twist to this, we have used the ESP8266 with addressable LEDs to produce a Wi-Fi enabled message board. The ESP8266 has a web server running, so using any Wi-Fi connected device via a internet browser, we can send messages to our message board. Okay, let's send the word hello. There you go, a message sent. Right, this video is not going to be a step-by-step -step guide of how to build this. I'm just going to show you the parts I used and what I did. I will possibly put the code, or shall I say, I will eventually put the code in with the comments. And you can build it however you like and do your own spin on this. Okay, guys and girls, let's get started. Right, the first thing we need is our set of WS2811 LEDs. These are the ones that look very much like Christmas lights. There's a set of 50, and this is the 5 volt variety. There is a plug and socket at either end. As you see, this is an old set. But what you want to do is cut the socket off of the back end. To know the back end you can look at the circuit board. The wire coming out the green one in the middle goes to DO which is digital out. So we chop that off we are going to utilize that later. Next thing we want we obviously want 26 LEDs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So once we counted those, please double check it. Because it would be definitely a big bum if you get that wrong. I suppose I should really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Twenty-six. Okay, I've got 26 twice. So I want to cut that. There's nothing short to hit there. I have left a bit of length so I can put more on if need be. So we have those out of the way. So we have our 26 LEDs. Plug here, a socket here. Right, this socket will be hardwired onto our ESP8266 node MCU unit. The red will be going to the 5 volts, the white will be going to ground, and the green will be going to the pin that we program up in our code uh, to run these. Okay, here's the back of the panel. Uh, sorry about the focus. Here's our ESP8266. And here is the, the connector when I actually get in focus. And here's the connector we took off the back end. We're using that so we can disconnect the ESP8266. Uh, here's a, a connector, which it is connected to a three amp, five volt power supply. And here's our first light at number A, and it goes A all the way to H. And then I, I've got some connection cables from H, if I can get in the right place. And they go from here, as you see, I've had to extend them slightly. 
these go down to another set of LEDs which are out of order and back to the other side again some more extension wires and then the last couple of LEDs right on the other side you can see it a bit better uh, the actual ordering goes from A to H and just to get in focus as you see we go from a to H then we drop down to and we do Q to I backwards and then R to Z and the backwards ones here we actually modify that in our code so if you look you will see that come on focus All right so it goes A to H this lot is all done back to front in code and then back in order to Z okay this whole frame is just a picture frame I think they call it a canvas I got this from home home bargains I believe it was for £2.30 and here's the letters they're just printed out the font I will look up for you and put in the notes I think it's called strange font or something but they've just been printed out and stuck onto the canvas the total build of this project is under 20 pounds so it's a nice little project to build for someone or if you just want something different right here's the web interface it's just a basic browser uh, basically any browser that's connected to your network uh, should do it you just put your the IP address of the device mine is 192.168.1 dot 105 to find the IP address I mean you can either look on your router that should uh, show you the list if if your router doesn't do this you can actually plug the uh, ESP 8266 into the serial interface when you boot it up and that should actually tell you what IP address has been allocated to it you could modify the code and have it as a fixed IP if you like which would make things uh, slightly easier but probably not as automated okay as you can see we've got a text box here which only accepts lower char lowercase characters as you see I've been playing but let's do that demo again and see how it responds just typed hello and when we submit we get this this means the ESP8266 has received the message and it will now be a display on the wall to do another message we will have to delete this but it will not respond until the message has been shown so as you see it's telling me it's busy but once the message has been shown and the lights come back we do get the box back all ready for us many thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe